Hello again! So I've had quite a few people ask me about Sealed Vessel from the Hollow Knight Piano Collections, and usually it has something to do with the 16th notes at the beginning. <laughs> I will admit it too, those things are hard. <laughs> so in this video, we're going to go over the 16th notes and how to practice them. Well, let's just get right into it. So we're going to skip the first 13 measures and just start on measure 14 here. Yeah, okay. So I'm playing a little bit under tempo because it's been a while since I've played this. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do with these 16th notes is to make sure you fill the connection between every single note. And also use a little bit of arm and wrist rotation. So what I mean by filling the connection between each note, almost pretend that you're walking to each note. You're going from this note to this note, 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 to this note. And even when you're practicing this very slow, and even for the first time, make sure that your fingers are very active. Dee, da. A lot of times when people play slowly, they'll also play like very soft. But you don't want to do that because that's not going to be helpful for in anything. Because that's not going to help you learn the notes, and it's not going to help the music sound nice at the end. So just think about the tune in your head for a little bit. Da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -dee so it has this bit of like tension in every note and very articulated, I guess. Da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee and you want your fingers to be that way as well, right from the start. You don't wanna You don't wanna do this, because if you do that, then when you pick up the tempo, it's not going to have the right fill or the right sound. So you need to make sure. that even at a slow tempo, your fingers are going to have that attack and that fill that you want to have at a faster tempo. So I said this already, but when most people play fast, they'll wanna just kind of float on top of the keys, so like this. Uh, yeah. Like they'll just kind of float on the keys and they won't go all the way down into the key. Uh, I, I mean, s sometimes we wanna float on the key, that might be what the music wants, but uh, in this case, we don't. We want to go all the way down into the key. Da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. So that is what filling the connection between every note and keeping every finger very active and strong with every note. That is what that's going to help you do is when you pick up the tempo, you'll be playing more into the keys and not floating on the keys. All right, so if you're new to the piece and you're just starting to work on it, spend a few days learning just the notes uh, and practice exactly this way. And then after a few days of learning the notes, start to think about phrasing the 16th notes. I, I don't know about you, but I think the, the top line of the 16th notes, it sounds like a nice m melody. So when you play the 16th notes, think about phrasing that. We're climbing. Going back. Down. So play the top note by itself so you get a good sense of what the phrasing is like. And then add in the bottom line while still keeping the phrasing in the top line.
Also, just really quick, we're not going to spend a lot of time on it because it's not the 16th notes, but in the left hand... Do you recognize that from anywhere? So the left hand is just the main theme, but it's it's half notes, right? And whole notes. <laughs> I would also recommend practicing just the top line of the right hand while playing the left hand as well. That way of practicing will help you figure out how the phrasing of both the left and right hand kind of fit together. Because the right hand is going down. But the left hand is going up, so D, D, D. So each the left and right hand should have different phrasing. They shouldn't match completely. Uh, I wanted to talk about measure 25 to 26. I personally like to group the notes in groups of eight sixteenths, so That way of grouping the notes made the most sense to me. But if you have a different idea on how to group those, uh, great. All right, well, let's move on to the next set of 16th notes on, this is page three, I think, yeah. Yeah, so again, practice the 16th notes here the same way as before. And also play just the top line to see what the phrasing is. Nothing is gonna change here. Uh, practice the same way you did with the 16th notes on the second page. The only difference is that there's more happening in the left hand. So what is the phrasing here? So it's kind of in four note groups da di da di ya di da di ya di da di da 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 and i think it's christian doing a little bit as it goes up so the trick is to do that phrasing in the left hand while also doing the phrasing in the right That's a lot easier said than done. So one thing I want to stress is that the 16th notes need to have a lot of energy behind them, but they are also very melodic too. So I believe that the 16th notes shouldn't be very metronomic. I think it's okay to add little bits of like rubato and stuff just here and there to make it more melodic sounding and not so not so machine gun like. So for example, here at the top of this page, page three, when I'm at this B, I kind of go into it. So da -dee, da -dee, da -dee, da -dee, da -dee, da -dee. I don't start right away in tempo. So be more melodic with the 16th notes. And even here as well, be melodic with them. Don't be so. Da -da 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 I, I, you can if you want, if that's how you want to play it. Um, but I prefer more of a melodic approach. I, I think it sounds nice. <laughs> I know I'm under tempo a little bit, but even when you're at tempo, be melodic with the 16th notes. They don't need to sound 
like I said, a machine gun. <laughs> All right, well, that is it. That is how I believe you should practice the 16th notes in Sealed Vessel from the Hollow Knight Piano Collections. Down in the description below, I'm going to leave either a video or a sheet with the fingerings that I use for the 16th notes, because I know those 16th notes are a little bit weird, so it might be nice to have some help with the finger choices. Feel free to adjust the fingerings though to fit your own hand. I have very thin and flexible fingers. I never quite grew out of my young teenager hands. So if you have more grown up adult hands than I do, some of my finger choices might feel very uncomfortable to you. All right, don't forget to hit that like button below, the thumbs up one, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.